Okay, day 12, I think it is. My horse and trail walk. I'm just leaving my accommodation in Holgate. Um, got to do a bit of a, a road walk back out to Bridgewater and then I'll pick up the official um, ice and trail. There's been a bit of rain overnight. The road's a bit wet in spots, but nothing too drastic here. Um, um, I suppose the first objective today will be get over Mount, Mount Lofty. I'm thinking I'll have kind of some kind of a lunch up there. Camping tonight's going to be an issue. Um, and accommodation is there's bugger all around Norton Summit, so might be a bit of a feral job tonight. We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, let's um, continue my walk through the Adelaide Hills. Okay, well, I'm back on the um, official alignment of the uh, Payson Trail after that spur kind of out to Olgate. The traffic noise is the um, southeast freeway runs out of Adelaide down to Murray Bridge and then on to Melbourne eventually. Um, so I'm going to cross under that, I guess, in a minute. And then I've got a few k's of um, not too bad walking and then I'll, the last little pinch up to Mount Lofty will be a solid. But like I mentioned before, I can have a, um, a break at the top and something to eat. So it's not the end of the world. Okay, just passed out from beneath the, uh, the freeway there into this conservation park. So there's a little bit of a, a variant on the Python along here that I'm kind of keeping a bit of an eye out. So there's two kind of routes up to um, Mount Lofty on my maps. I want to go the more direct route. So this must be Cox's Creek, I guess. And there's also a spur trail that leads from Bridgewater out to Handoff, where I went yesterday for uh, lunch with Petra. Um, my original plan had been to walk that, but because my my knee and um, quad, lower quad, it's this muscle here, that muscle that runs on the side of your kneecap, um, has been playing up a bit. Decided just to rest it yesterday and do not really not much at all. So we drove out to handoff. Um, we'll see how it goes today. I think what's happening is that muscle that runs down the side of the kneecap is swelling during the day and pushing the kneecap a little bit sideways and causing knee pain as well. Something I've never come across. I'm wondering if it's something to do with my... Um, when I tweaked that upper part of that quad on the Australian Alps a month ago and, and favoured it, I favoured the other leg obviously and so this muscle maybe got a little bit out of whack or something, I'm not sure what's going on. Anyway, um, we'll see how we go, it's okay at the moment, it generally starts okay, it's only after around 20 k's it starts to play up. So I've been walking through this... Um, Woodhouse Adventure Park. I think it's a scout park. This is the um, the option for camping in the Bridgewater area. Um, I think you can ring them and pay for like a site here. Obviously, it probably depends if the scouts are using it. Um, so yeah, if you, other than that, it's expensive up here. They're very nice flash B&Bs, but they're not a, not definitely not a budget option. Um, so yeah, this place is the, um, the budget option. It's quite nice. Okay, I'm about to leave the, 
the Woodhouse Activity or Adventure Centre. So there's the um, phone number to ring if anyone wants to stay there, I guess. So, another Hyson Trail first. My first vineyard. Okay, so to climb up Mount Lofty's on now, I'm in Cleveland National Park. I've walked here quite a few times before actually. Last time was when I did the, I think it's called the Sea to Summit, but I did the Summit to Sea Walk oh, a year and a half ago, I guess. I was over here visiting Petra one time. All right, I'll, uh, I'll get on with it, I reckon. Okay, that was a bit of a, a stiff little pinch up to um, the summit here. Some up on that lofty now. There's a um, cafe which I'm gonna darken the doorway of in a minute. Looks like a visitor's information kind of little shop over there too. So there's uh, Adelaide through the trees down there. Yeah, I'll swing around these trees and get a bit of a view. So that's the Adelaide CBD down there. So I'm just doing a bit of uh, research on where I'm going to sleep tonight. No hurry to leave here though, it's quite comfy. <laughs> so um, I've just left Mount Lofty. That's the youth hostel you can hire, I think, to sleep in here if there's a group of you. It's a little bit close to, um, I mean, it's just no good for me because I've just only walked about 10k so far today. I'm just uh, making my way along or above Green Hill Road for the most part. Occasionally I touch the road down there. So it looks like I might be going to get a view here. It's, um, it's probably around 13 degrees today, maybe a little bit cooler. Haven't got any rain. Looks like there was rain before I left this morning. I really haven't got any rain all day, but um, it's been overcast and a bit grey. Uh, there's a CBD down there again. So I'm just entering. Um, Horsnell Gully Conservation Park. This is part, this, uh, today, since Mount Lofty, I've been walking the um, same alignment as the Yarra, Yarra Billa Trail, I think it is, the Yarra, Yarra Billa Trail. Um, so I've walked this before because I've done that track. Um, and I seem to remember down the bottom of this gully, there's, there's a ruin or something, but there's also koalas, uh, or there was. Um, unless I'm getting confused with another spot. So with any luck, we might see some koalas. That'd be pretty cool. So the sun's come out now, pretty much for the, um, the first time all day, really. So here's, uh, some of the ruins in Horsnell Gully that I vaguely remembered. No koalas though, yet. I think there's possibly more ruins further down. So these are the old ruins I was thinking. That's actually, I've just left Horsnell Gully. I'm in Giles Conservation Park. They're pretty small parks, these ones. Um, and this is where, um, I think it was Charles 
Giles resided when he settled. Um, Charles Giles, not to be confused with Ernest Giles, the explorer. This guy was more of a pastoralist, I think. All right, I'm climbing up now. So I'm going to camp somewhere near Norton Summit. So I've dropped off the trail a bit into the bush. Um, I'm just going to stealth camp tonight. So I found myself a bit of grass here. It's almost dark. I'll be gone first light. Um, I did try and get hold of the the um, Norton Summit Hotel, but they were, they're not open today and they weren't answering their phone. So rather than just turn up and camp and not ask, I'll just stealth it tonight, I think. Okay, I've got the, uh, the red light happening tonight because I'm stealth camping. Um, I'm up at Norton Summit or near Norton Summit. Um, according to all trails, I did about 23 k's and climbed 900 metres today. So if you can believe the climbing figure, that's, that's a fairly hard day. Um, my knee isn't too bad. It's, it's still, I can still feel it, but it wasn't as excruciating as the last couple of days. So I'll, um, I'm hoping it's getting better. Um, we'll see how we go. I haven't taken any prescription anti-inflammatories for a few days so that's a good thing i think that day i rest helped it yesterday um tomorrow i'll be into is it montacute conservation park the one with all the waterfalls anyway tomorrow morning so that's something to look forward to um today was a it was tough to leave the bnb and then i spent maybe an hour and a half two hours up at mount lofty just just enjoying myself really so that was that was a good little break to the day so today hasn't been a particularly hard day um all right i'll catch up with you in the morning when i blast off again i suppose mm -hmm.